Thank you to Maeve for sponsoring this video. Here on Bizarre Beasts, we really try not to judge a book by its cover. If there's one thing we've learned from making this show, it's that even the most normal-looking animals can secretly be very, very weird. Like horses running around on their one long middle finger. Naked mole rats, though? They're not keeping their weirdness on the inside. They are beady-eyed, wrinkly blobs of gnashing teeth. And all of their superficial strangeness, the distinctive look, the complex underground society, even the strategic poop-eating, is just the tip of the weird iceberg. Because the traits that make these rodents well-adapted for life in the dirt just happen to come with some pretty wild side effects. The Bizarre Beast Pin Club is open for subscriptions for the whole month. Sign up by July 20th, and the first pin you'll get will be an especially cute naked mole rat. The naked mole rat is a small rodent found throughout the Horn of Eastern Africa. They're about 15 centimeters long and between 30 and 80 grams, although their size depends on where they rank in their colony's hierarchy. There can be around 75 members in a colony, but there can be up to almost 300. Their scientific name, Heterocephalus glaber, literally translates to different head and bald, which I mean, just look at them. And in terms of their common name, naked mole rats are neither moles nor rats. Mole rats are a specific group of rodents found only in Africa, and they're more closely related to chinchillas and porcupines than they are to moles or rats. Naked mole rats also aren't truly naked either, except maybe by comparison to all other species of mole rat. They get that moniker from their general hairlessness, which is an adaptation to their fully subterranean lifestyle. They don't need protection from the sun or insulation underground. But they actually do have some hair all across their bodies, which helps them feel their way through their tunnels, kind of like having full body whiskers. And those tunnels can make up a pretty impressive underground network. Naked mole rat colonies build tunnel systems that run as deep as two meters below the surface. And the passageways, which run between food sources, sleeping areas, and even designated bathrooms, can add up to four kilometers altogether, basically a burrow city. Those food sources are roots and tubers that grow down to the depth of the tunnels. But the plants are so tough and hard to digest that the mole rats have to eat their own poop in order for their gut biome to fully extract all the nutrients, which we don't recommend trying. On a brighter note, naked mole rats practice pretty sustainable harvesting techniques when they eat their food the first time around. They carefully leave the tubers intact enough that the plants can survive and continue growing future food for the colony. But biting through those tough roots is no easy task task, which is at least part of the reason why a quarter of the naked mole rat's overall muscle mass is pure jaw power. And we may as well address those, let's say, prominent teeth. Absolutely massive incisors are characteristic of all mole rats, and we're not exaggerating about their size. They're so big that they're permanently outside of the individual's mouth. And they can move each incisor independently. Having their chomping teeth outside of their mouths allows mole rats to close their lips behind their incisors and chisel through soil without swallowing any as they tunnel. And as we mentioned, they make a lot of tunnels. They pull this off by using a bucket brigade system without, you know, actual buckets. Individuals in the front carve away at the dirt, and a line of other mole rats use their paws to shove that loosened dirt backwards behind them. This continues all the way to the back of the chain, where it gets kicked out of the burrow and onto the surface in a pile. But it requires a special kind of social structure to keep all those moving parts in play. Naked mole rats are what's called eusocial, meaning that they live in a colony with a queen and workers. And if you saw our small carpenter bee episode, you might you might remember that eusociality is a pretty special classification of social living that has three requirements. Different generations overlap while living together. There's a dominant caste that does all the reproduction and a subordinate caste that doesn't. And the subordinate caste works together to take care of all the dominant caste's offspring. Naked mole rats and their cousins, Tamaraland mole rats, have the distinction of being the world's only known eusocial vertebrate species. There are a bunch of 
eusocial insects, like ants, termites, and loads of others, as well as some eusocial shrimp and even eusocial flatworms, but no other vertebrates that qualify. And eusociality for naked mole rats looks a little something like this. There's a reproductive queen, her selected male or handful of males for mating with, and then everyone else in the colony serves as soldiers or workers who protect and maintain the burrow, respectively. The queen is generally the biggest member of the colony, and her mates are the largest and most mature of the males. This dominant caste maintains their position mainly by being jerks to everyone else. And aggression like this is actually enough on its own to suppress reproductive ability in the whole subordinate caste, basically blocking puberty through behavioral reinforcement. But when a queen dies, worker females may then fight, sometimes even to the death, to become the new queen, after which point their reproductive ability fully kicks in. Queens tend to seek out less related males for mating, probably to minimize inbreeding. This means that any new reproductive males tend to be newcomers from a nearby colony. Living within this kind of social order may sound tough, but it has its perks. For example, if a predator like a snake finds its way into the tunnels, the colony sounds the alarm, and soldiers quickly meet the threat with a wall of angry mole rat jaws. And constantly being close to so many other members of the colony means that naked mole rats can save energy by just ambiently keeping each other warm, rather than by thermoregulating like most mammals do. But the combination of living underground and doing so in the close quarters of a eusocial colony also gives naked mole rats some much less expected benefits. For one thing, they can survive up to 18 minutes without oxygen. Crowded tunnels full of workers finding food, raising pups, and excavating the colony's newest east wing aren't exactly the best place to get a breath of fresh air. So oxygen levels are bound to get especially low sometimes. When that happens, naked mole rats switch from metabolizing the sugar glucose to instead metabolizing a different sugar called fructose. This helps them protect their cells and vital organs until oxygen levels improve. Think of it like an emergency micro nap that's triggered at a cellular level. But naked mole rats can also use sugars in much cooler ways than that. Running around in small tunnels all day can be pretty rough on so much bare skin. So naked mole rats evolved a larger version of the sugar hyaluronin, and a higher concentration of it, which gives them much more elastic skin. Hyaluronin is naturally produced in all animals to help with things like keeping joints lubricated. Skincare fans might know it by another name, hyaluronic acid. And the way naked mole rats make it, it also protects them from getting cancer. Put simply, their giant version of the sugar seems to just plain get in the way of cells sticking together to form tumors. Which sounds like a great side effect of their subterranean skincare routine, to be honest. Cancer can affect all animals, but it's most common in mammals. So it's remarkable to see no cancer cases in a whole species like this. And for us humans whose cancer risk increases with age, it's even more surprising to see them keep it up for many, many years. Because Nick and mole rats also live about five times longer than other rodents their size. They often live up to a decade in the wild, but can make it past 30 in captivity. And they don't just live longer, they physically age less than most other mammals. Naked mole rats don't lose bone density over time. Their hearts and metabolisms keep kicking, they don't really have any neurological decline, and females don't even experience menopause. Part of what helps them live so long is that for some reason, naked mole rats make proteins with an especially low error rate, a feature that's linked to living longer in mammals in general. Which makes sense. If your body is able to keep maintaining bits without fail, it's probably going to stay in good working order for longer. And it all comes back around again to the sugar hyaluronin. Having a bunch of naked mole rats giant version of this molecule hanging around between cells protects those cells in a way that seems to help prevent aging in addition to staving off cancer. What started as just an adaptation for healthier skin when rubbing up against tunnel walls ended up as the solution to staying young and cancer-free for naked mole rats entire lives. There's no sugarcoating it. By human standards, these guys look and act strange. But what's so cool about the diversity of life on Earth is that one creature's weird can be another's fountain of youth. Naked mole rats evolved to live underground in eusocial colonies, which gave them some pretty odd traits. But what's really bizarre are the incredible anti-aging and anti-cancer abilities that just happen to come along with them. Sign up for the pin club at BizarreBeeShow.com to help keep this channel going. If you want a naked mole rat to be your first pin, sign up by July 20th. And now for some bonus facts.
Naked mole rat superpowers don't end with anti-aging and cancer resistance. They're also impervious to pain, at least in some instances. One research team wanted to know if the follicles for the sensory hairs that grow all over naked mole rats have nerves more similar to those of facial whiskers or of ordinary fur. The answer was, unexcitingly, but maybe unsurprisingly, the fur option. But the scientists also learned that naked mole rats are missing proteins in their skin that are responsible for certain pain responses which was unexpected. So they decided to conduct a whole new experiment, specifically looking into whether these new little dudes actually react to standard pain stimuli. Mice and mole rats were treated with things like exposure to a heat lamp or injections of possible irritants, and then observed for the time it took them to move away from the stimulus or start licking at the irritated area. And compared to mice, Naked mole rats didn't show any behavioral pain response to capsaicin or even acid. The last part is especially surprising. No other vertebrates had previously been observed just straight up ignoring acid, even if the acid in question was just a low pH saline solution. And like their other enhanced abilities, the naked mole rats can probably attribute their pain tolerance to their lifestyle. Lack of oxygen can cause acidification inside animal cells, and that's usually a bad thing unless you already have an adaptation that lets you survive without oxygen for a ridiculously long time. So the researchers concluded that naked mole rats likely evolved to stop experiencing pain responses to conditions like these that weren't actually a threat. In other words, because they're unaffected by stuff that might harm other animals, there's no need for their bodies to warn them about that stuff. We still have a lot to learn about how exactly this all works, but for now, it's just another way that naked mole rats avoid being labeled as average. Meet Perry, the loyal companion and best snuggle buddy of Hiroka from SciShow. Much like a naked mole rat, Perry has a distinctive look and a rich social life. He's risen up our colony hierarchy to become the unofficial complexly office dog, a very senior rank in our social structure. But unlike a mole rat, Perry doesn't need to go to extreme lengths to get the nutrition he needs to stay healthy. Because he gets to eat Maeve. Maeve is the first and only human-grade, protein-rich, raw food for dogs made with real ingredients that you can see and name just by looking. There's no fillers, no additives, and it requires no prep and no mess. How we eat affects our mood, our behavior, energy levels, cognition, and immune function, and the same goes for our dogs. Every bowl of Maeve includes human-grade, lean protein, vitamin-rich organ meat, fresh produce, and personalized supplements. Maeve is made with the highest quality ingredients that are flash frozen for optimal nutrient absorption. Perry's a huge fan of the chicken flavor in particular. Dogs are the best, so give them the food they deserve. Head to the link in our description and use the code BIZARRE for 20% off your first order.